Hey, this is Lucas Aleem from Course Careers uh, with Austin Adams, one of our data analytics students who just landed his first data analytics role. Uh, Austin, would you care to introduce yourself? Uh, tell me a little bit about your background, what you were doing before you got started at Course Careers. Yeah, so um, my name is Austin Adams, as you said. Um, I have background in banking and also I worked in a warehouse where um, we sold um, medical equipment. So like people with sleep apnea, like we sold uh, CPAP equipment. So I have background in that. And, you know, before that was like customer service, um, like basic cashier stuff. Oh. So I have a little bit of every, like a lot of things and, um, you know, centered around like a lot of customers, mainly because with banking, especially you're face to face with everyone. Right. And with banking, you get some opportunity to work with data, like sort of similar Excel or not really? Um, Not really. Um, I was more so like, teller and also like some of the desk work like opening up like savings accounts and like checking accounts so like gotcha. nothing nothing too complex yeah yeah and did you uh did you finish high school did you finish college did you do any college kind of what was your educational background yeah um i finished high school um i also have an associate's degree in business administration gotcha. so it's a two-year school degree yeah, yeah yeah um and then uh you did a boot camp is that right yeah i did a web development boot camp um and then i finished that and then I transitioned more into uh, data analytics afterwards. Gotcha. Um, okay. And so uh, how did you decide to get interested in uh, data analytics then? Yeah. So with the boot camp, um, you know, we learned everything from like uh, front end to back end web development. And we learned about MySQL. Um, and I really took an interest in that. Gotcha. So after I completed that, got that certificate. Um, I uh, probably like a few months later after I got the certificate, I was watching a YouTube video from, um, Tim, I think it, it's pronounced Rusika. Okay. Um, which if I'm sure, you know, which is the instructor of the, uh, software development course in course careers. Gotcha. Gotcha. And in the, in the video on YouTube, um, he promoted his course, the software development course, and in the description had the link to course careers. And so I clicked on that. And then I saw that they had other courses available oh, okay. for like different things like um, like IT. And then I saw data analytics and I knew I wanted to like learn more about data analytics because I liked working with SQL mm -hmm. from the, the boot camp. Um, so I enrolled in the course and, you know, I kind of fully transitioned into data analytics from there. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um, and so let's see. What was your experience like once you got in the course? Yeah. So um, I thought it was, I don't want to say it was like, too hard to get into um because i had a similar background like um you know i did the, the boot camp so like sequel kind of came like not naturally but like i felt like at ease with it more so than like people that are brand new to it and like python was brand new to me because i didn't learn python to, like in the boot camp or anything um so like in excel i think everyone has you know some knowledge of excel but yeah i mean i i would often help other students when i was a student myself um, in a Discord, and I think that really helped me out learn, um, you know, because you learn how other people work and whatnot. So you like kind of collaborate with other people. Right. And do you remember how many months it took you to kind of get from starting the course to like completing graduating, not not including like the job search? Yeah, I think I, I enrolled in December, if okay. I remember correctly, and I finished either last week of February or like the first week of March. Oh, so you were you were pretty fast. That's about yeah. the fastest anybody ever gets through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I make sure to do like at least a few videos a day. Okay. And then when you finished, you know, including the four projects and the, the assessment and everything. Um, so it was from February through what, July or something that you were doing a job search? Yeah, it was uh, pretty shortly after I had finished the course. Um, I started to apply and I was mass applying, which isn't really the best way to do it. Um, uh -huh. And so it took me until like late June to finally... You know, after a talk of Mary, Mary Hook, the uh, the coach, the coach, yeah, um, she really helped me kind of figure out how to fix my resume and cover letter. And right, right, right. So there. working with the the, it's not just the training; it was also basically the the job search, like tweaking that you got from the coach that kind of made the difference. Oh yeah, immediately after I talked with Mary, um, you know, I fixed my resume, um, and I lurked, I looked on uh, LinkedIn for like a bunch of like hybrid positions because hybrid positions have like way less applicants. Oh yeah. So I, I found one really close to me. Um, I looked up the company. I looked at all the reviews. I looked up as much information as possible and the company really seemed to care about their employees. And so I knew I wanted to work for them. 
And so I crafted a really nice resume, crafted a really nice cover letter. And I think I heard back within like 48 hours. Wow. And then it was four rounds of interviews? Yeah, four rounds. And was that the only company you interviewed with? Uh, no, I interviewed with one other company. Uh -huh. um, you know, after I talked with Mary, um, you know, I that's when I really started to fix my resume. So like I didn't really have there wasn't really much time for like other interviews because this right. one just took off really quickly. OK, I did interview with one other company, though. Right. And do you remember after you talked to Mary, how many resumes did you send out? Oh, uh, that this one was probably the second one I sent out. So I think I sent nice. out like five total. OK, but it, the, each of those was taking you like probably a couple hours of work. Yeah, yeah. But before, get... Yeah. But before that, like before I talked to Mary and all, I sent out like dozens and dozens. Yeah, 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 the quick apply type of, of thing where you weren't. Yeah. Getting, yeah, yeah, right. But so it was dozens and dozens and then customize the resume, get it out. And, and then two after that. Awesome. Um, yeah. OK. And so just just thoughts on what you found valuable about uh, the course careers experience. Yeah, I, I think what stands out the most is the um, especially you don't really see it with other courses. You don't see like a, a final exam. Um, so I think that really stands out from all the rest of the sites that you see online. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, it's just like follow along a video, do a project and that's it. And then you get the certificate. This one, you have to, you know, maintain all the knowledge and then you're taking a proctored exam at the end. So like you have to, you have to maintain the knowledge in your head. Uh -huh. um, and I think that really is what stands out. And like, not only that, but like, I know a lot of other places use discord, but like, I think this one's really, really active. And I see other people, you know, not just me and Brandon talking to other people and like you, um, but like, I see other students interacting with other students. Cool. Um, and do you remember, so you're also a teaching assistant in the, the data analyst course careers program, right? People probably yeah. watching may not know that. Do you know if that, did, did your hiring manager like say anything about that being an asset or did it kind of not matter? It was more the skills themselves. Um, I, I talked about it um, mm -hmm. and I, I think that took an interest in them um, mm -hmm. because I told them, you know, I kind of used a lot of the questions that they asked were like behavioral questions. Uh -huh. So it was like collaborating. And I used this as an example, like the teaching assistant, you know, I'm talking with other students. So like I'm collaborating, collaborating with them in a sense. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. And I, I use like, like I said, a lot of them were behavioral questions. So I was able to, I have a lot of transferable skills from like my past jobs. So right. I was able to utilize them and, you know. Right, right. But basically, okay. So basically the teaching assistant stuff, similar to like what I've sometimes hear people say for portfolio projects like being able to talk about, oh yeah, I actually did this project where that came up or like I had this exchange on Discord on the data analytics where that is like I, I dealt with this person that was upset about their project in this way, right? That kind of thing. So it basically creates a pool of life experience that you can use in the interview to say, yeah, I, I, I am capable of, of collaboration and, and working through problems with people. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's important to like interact with all the other even if you're our student you know try to interact with the other students and so that way you forward the questions you can answer them uh -huh. yeah so can you tell me more about uh the specific position like um you know what, what was attract you said the company uh cares about its people like how did you kind of glean that and, and you know what area are they working in and you said a hybrid um yeah so just tell me more about the company and and what you expect it'll be like i guess you have training coming up on it right yeah they had i'm doing orientation on tuesday tuesday and wednesday they had me going to philly uh, the Philly office uh, for two days and they booked me a hotel to stay in overnight, even though I live like 15 minutes away so I can easily just take the train, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'll take the free hotel room. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So they have orientation there. And then I believe I start right after that orientation. Um. But aside from that, like it's the office that I work in, is not going to be in Philly. It's going to be in New Jersey, mm -hmm. um, which is also only like I'm in New Jersey, but like the office is only like 15 minutes away from me. Mm -hmm. So um, I only have to be in office four times a month and the rest is remote. Yeah. So essentially just like once a week. The company itself is a it's a marketing agency. So like they work with healthcare providers, um, you know, to like market their, their products and like pretty much make better decisions for them. Oh, nice. Because marketing analytics, that's like a whole niche, you know, like they're like you're a marketing analytics guy. You can get other marketing analytics roles more easily like after you get some experience, if, if, you know, maybe you'll continue to grow with that company, but that's, that's an option as well. It's like, now you're getting kind of a, a niche skill here. Um, yeah. Cool. And can you tell, tell about kind of the salary and, and, and benefits and whatnot? Yeah. Uh, so the salary isn't too, too high, especially in the state of New Jersey, which is really expensive. Yeah. Um, so I'm starting at 50,000. Um, but I also told myself like, this is an entry level position. You know, the money's going to grow. You can't get, you have to be a little lenient when you're getting your foot in the door. Yeah. 
So, you know, I take what I can and, you know, from there it'll, it'll grow. Right. I mean, if you compare spending money to learn skills and being paid to learn skills, like yeah. you're essentially being paid to learn how to be, go from like an entry level data analyst to being like a, a senior data analyst, right? Eventually. So, you know, it's like, even if the, the salary is not what you, what you, you know, kind of want long-term, uh, you can think of it as I'm getting trained and, um, you know, getting paid. Yeah. And it's, it's still not bad money. Like it's still good money. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like I said, the money will go, it'll, it'll grow uh, quickly. Yeah. And especially if the, uh, the company cares about its people and it's a, a reasonable, I mean, because you're only going in four days a month, that's a benefit to, because the commuting cost, if you're going in every day might not be, you know, might be something yeah. significant. So yeah. 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 yeah I'm saving a bunch on gas. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah. Well, that this is, I, I think there's an awesome story, you know, uh, uh, especially because, you know, some people think, oh, I need a bachelor's, like, so I need, I need experience, all the roles out there, all the entry level roles require four years experience, right? Like, to me, like, you prove that that's not the case, that people can actually land, land roles if they can be scrappy. And like, you got some experience, you know, uh, as a, as a um, course assistant, right? Um, so cool. Yeah. Any other thoughts, um, like, just about course careers, about like training, about like the job search, any tips for folks? Um, I like giving a tip of, you know, applying to the hybrid or on-site positions. Like I said, they have far less applicants, so there's a way better chance of you landing that role. You know, I think that also depends on the location that you're at too. Like I'm, I'm fortunate to live in you know a very busy area. So right. like there, there's a bunch of jobs that I can apply to that mm -hmm. are hybrid or on-site. So you'd recommend course careers to other folks? Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, like I said, you know, the Discord's really active and not only that, like I, this is the only place that I've seen that does a final exam, especially a proctored yeah. one. Um, awesome. So I think that really stands out. Cool. And you, le you learn what you need to know. Yeah, well, thank you so much for your time, Austin. You're welcome.